Release the Kraken! Good evening, fellow game designers. Ron here with Lame Duck Studios for another tutorial. Uh, this one is Widgetception Part 2. So in the first Widgetception, we, we uh, looked at how the parent widget could get variables from the child widget. In this one, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to look at how the child widget can get a variable from the um, parent. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the parent. And same situation, we have you know a button and that creates our text. And then here in our graph, I'm going to make a variable. So let's do a variable, and I'll call this one, I'll say var a, whatever we're going to call that. So var a is going to go and get passed into the first variables. Let's go up to my graph here. And whenever I set this variable, I'm going to give it to this one over here. All right, so by default, that one is false. I'll just make it true when I hit the button. Compile that. And let's go over to widget B. And then in widget B, I just want widget B to report. Um, let me get a text here. We'll have this one give the value. So to get this, we want to, let's go up to our graph here. So inside of uh, widget B, I'm going to come up to the construct, so event construct. And actually, you probably could do it on a pre-construct, but I'm just going to do it here. So I'm going to say uh, get all widgets of a class. And then in that class, I'm just going to get my widget A. It's going to create an array of widgets. I'm just going to do get a copy. So get copy. Okay. I only have one widget, so getting one is fine. If I had a loop, I could just do a loop. So out of my copy, I have access to that variable. So get um, var a. And you can see it's, it's there. So I'm going to get this. I'm actually going to pass this into... A, uh, a variable. So let's go ahead and set to or promote to variable. So here's that. And this is going to be uh, widget A reference. That should work. And now I'm going to go back to the get text. I'm going to grab my reference and that's going to get the uh, var. So var A. My var a is going to go into here. Compile that. And let's do a little bit of a test. So here I am. A is on false. I hit the button. And it's going to create b with the variable being true. So the variable doesn't get marked true until I click a's button. But once b uh, gets that value, it updates. So there. And then, of course, I can go backward because we have that one set from last time. Okay. So that is how you can go forward or backward from a child widget to a parent widget or from a parent widget to a child widget. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below, and I will see you in the next video.